Alright people, welcome back. Daily Duel. So, deck profile for Raven Raptor. So, despite Bluster Blader and Dark Magician staying, we finally have a deck that is going off and a new deck coming on. So, if you haven't checked that video out, be sure to. As of recording this, I haven't dueled with that. So, hopefully that goes well and that's entertaining for you guys. So, anyway, here is the Raid Raptor deck profile. This deck was fun. It really was. It, it got a lot of resources when I got the plays. The plays were nice and, you know, I've... I've probably used a handful of these cards to win duel so it was really nice to uh pull off so anyway we're gonna go ahead and be doing the draft profile for raid raptors you guys can go ahead and take it change it around play it do whatever you want uh i really don't need deck suggestions really i mean uh unless it goes back on daily duels for another month i probably won't be playing it anymore and uh you know i kind of got my own feel for it you know i'm probably not playing it the way that everybody would like to play it but uh in the end i enjoyed playing it the way i played it so let's go ahead and go over it so uh, three Tribute Lanius, uh, he's the guy that goes ahead and sends a Raid Raptor card, and then, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't think I've ever used the whole, you know, this card, uh, if this card destroyed an opponent's monster by battle, I can get a, a Rank Up Magic Quick Play Spell card from my, uh, deck to my hand. I don't think I've ever done that, but it, it might have been nice. It might have been nice, I mean, uh, never mind, I'm not running any. I was like, are these Quick Plays? No, no, they're not. Okay, never mind, so... Uh, he's pretty much just to uh, have synergy with uh, Mimicry over here. So, uh, Mimicry, uh, you can go ahead and banish it to search for a Raid Raptor card. It's pretty much do you summon, you summon uh, Tribute, Tribute summons Mimicry, banish Mimicry, get a search. Simple as that. So, uh, of course, this deck needs more searching. I mean, that's all this deck does, so that's great. Uh, probably one of the best Raid Raptors, Vanishing, the original. Uh, once per turn during your main phase, you can, uh, if you normal summon fresh on this card, you can go ahead and fresh summon a level 4 lower Raid Raptor monster from your hand. So, it allows you to go into them rank 4s, not just necessarily Strix, but other rank 4s as well. So, and he's always good to have on hand just in case. You know, he's like the, the Satellar Vega of the deck, and it's nice to have. Uh, then, of course, three Fuzzy Wuzzies. Uh, fuzzy Wuzzy is very important. Control Red after Monster Special Summon it. When Central Gave out, you get another Fuzzy Wuzzy. So, uh, he's pretty much an enabler. You just summon a Red Raptor, Special Summon Fuzzy, X in your tricks, Detach Fuzzy. Strix will get you to search. Fuzzy will search for himself and just get pluses. I mean, as simple as that. So, not bad. Uh, one Singing Lanius. Uh, he's an enabler. If I control XC Monster, I can go to Special Summon it. So, uh, Generally, I'll go ahead and just be like, all right, summon a Raid Raptor, especially summon, you know, like, Fuzzy, XC into Strix, Detach Fuzzy, you know, Strix will get, Fuzzy will search for himself, but will Strix search for it? Well, I can go ahead and have Strix search for Singing, for summon Singing, uh, you know, summon, like, uh, Fuzzy, another Fuzzy or something like that along those lines, and uh, XC into another Strix. So, uh, he's only at one. Uh, he's pretty much number just number generator, get him when I need him. Uh, he's not the greatest of cards, and I can understand uh, why you maybe want to take him out for another card, which I say, I think that uh, can probably be ran over him, which is Pain Lanius here. Uh, he's just another enabler as well for XC plays. Uh, cannot be using XC to except for XC, uh, XC summon of a Black Queen, I mean a Wing Beast uh, XC type monster, which is fine, whether that be uh, Castell or Scorch Force Tricks is nice. Uh, this card's in your hand, you can target one Raider per monster you control that has a level. You take damage equal to the monster attack and defense, whatever is lower. And, uh, uh, if you do, start summon that monster, blah, 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 becomes that level, it's great. So, I don't care about taking the damage, but sometimes, I mean, the plays are lackluster, I might just open up with this and this. So, I can just go ahead and summon Mimicry, special summon this by targeting that. Take damage, it'll become level 4, and then, bam, there's an XC right there. So, similar to the reason why you run this for your rank 4 plays, opening plays, or strikes, and this, mm -hmm. uh, this can also be pretty good. I was actually running it more in multiples. But uh, I kind of cut it down just for deck profile sake. I, I really like Pain, you know. I think Pain, it's up there. It's one of my favorites. I, I think I definitely like it more than Singing. So if you want to go ahead and take out Singing, run more Pain, then, you know, if you want to experience more Pain instead of Singing. I mean, sometimes some people Singing is Pain, but uh, yeah. Because uh, this can be kind of dead, especially if you don't have the XC monster. Well, this, I mean, this is just an enabler just like this or this. So, you take a little bit of damage, but that's fine as long as you get off your plays. I mean, it's all about resources. Like points don't mean shit as long as you got resources. And, of course, probably the MVP of the deck, of course, Triple Lash Trick, Summon Lash Trick, Tribute him off, Summon uh, the Red Raptor XC monster, and then rank him up and have fun. It's, it's just ridiculous. They're one of the key cards in summoning that, that Ultimate Falcon, which is hella fucking cheap. We'll get to that. And then two boosts. Uh, I was running three, but then I decided to come down to two. Uh, boost is great. Like, if, you, if you're not running boost in your Raid Raptors, I say run him. Because he gives you a uh, reason to search. There's a lot of times when I was playing this deck where I was just like, what am I searching for? I'm searching and searching and searching and searching, but, you know, what do I get out of all the searching? Well, search boost. Uh, when a Raid Raptor monster you control is targeted for an attack, 
banish this card from your hand, destroying the attacking monster. You know how many times I want to duel just because my opponent would attack into a radar monster. I'd be like, boost, pop you. <laughs> you know, simple as that. You don't die. Like the battle didn't even go through. They just de de uh, declared an attack. They they selected you for a target, but they never get that damage. Here. So your monster lives. Their monster dies. So uh, definitely booth it. Booth, booth. This is booth strikes. All right, booth. Like you're sitting in a telephone booth. No, boost strikes. Boost. Like uh, high school DXD. Uh, definitely worth it. You know, I'd say maybe run two or three, just because he's just so good. He even works on not DXD, he's just regular monsters. You can literally just summon a, a red raptor monster. Your opponent can go in, summon like f you know three monsters. But if you have three boosts in your hand, they attack, pop. It's not once per turn here. So attack, pop, attack, pop, attack, pop. Like it just drives some people crazy, and people quit because of him. So good. So definitely recommend running him. He gives you a reason to search sometimes. Because you can't always search him, and that'd be nice. But this just gives you a reason to search because. I mean, he can search himself. This is a nice search. This is, eh, it's okay to search, and this is okay to search, so. But if you're absolutely good on resources, you're totally fine with your play, start grabbing some boosts. Yep. So, uh, 19 monsters, like I say, could be more, could be less. You could probably run more of this or more of this. You could probably take this out, but this is all just uh, personal and speculation, so do what you want. Uh, of course, triple uh, shave soul, uh, soul shave force. This card's so fucking ridiculous. You pay half your life points to target one red rapid monster in your day, rest special summon it, then special summon from your extra deck one XC monster that are two ranks higher than it, or using XC materials to sit, it's not once per turn. So, oh, well, you're playing like, well, okay, what can you do? Oh, well, how about you take this rank four Strix, two ranks higher, hmm, hmm, uh, infinity? Like, yes, you can do that, and you can do it as many times, if not once per turn. I think there's actually a duel. I went Soul Shave Force, Summon Strix, XC, into Infinity, and, you know, going to, you know, rank up into Infinity, and then played another one, Summon another Force Strix, and made my second Infinity. Like, yeah. Like, this deck can do it. Soul Shave Force, so good. And then there was one duel where I actually summoned him, uh, Revolution Falcon, which is probably the one they want you to go into, but no, I can go into Infinity. But he's still good. He actually won me a duel, so, you know, no complaints there. He actually won me a duel. Uh, if I wouldn't win to Infinity, I would would have lost, but going into Revolution Falcon won me the duel, so no complaints, no hating on Revolution Falcon. He's not Infendi, but he, he does his own job and he gets it done. Uh, of course, triple rank up magic skip force, the broken card. This plus this equals this, which is broken, you know? Uh, but we'll get to him, so definitely run triple of this, you know, it doesn't matter, you run triple of it. Uh, you target one Ray Raptor monster you're, you control, actually uh, monster you control, especially on uh, special summon from your extra deck, one Ray Rapper monster that is two ranks higher than that. Could be like some materials during all that good stuff. Then, uh, Durden turns this card with Sensor Go. You can banish both this card and a Raid, and a Raid Raptor monster, and then target one Raid Raptor XC monster and get out special summon it. So, even if they kill your ultimate Falcon, you can just be like, alright, wait, and banish this and my Raid Raptor monster summon ultimate Falcon. Generally, people only run one Utopia the Lightning, so... <laughs> Yeah, just winning. Like, it's just too easy. It's just too easy. Megazord, bam. GG. This card, pretty much. Bam. GG. Like, and we have Towers ban. Like, come on. Like, it's, I, in my opinion, it's all or nothing. Either we have all of them hit, or Towers hit. But you need, or, or just lower the consistency. Like, I straight up, you can unban Towers. That's fine. But as long as Wavering Eyes is in, and Scout is at one, who cares? No one's going to do some no Tower Turbo shit. Like, no one's going to do that shit. Like, not even freaking Defensive Cleaves, which is arguably the better deck, is being played right now, let alone trying to revive Tower Turbos with only one Scout and one Waver. And I was like, nah, you're not, you, ain't, you ain't doing that. So, like I said, lower the consistency of both the Megazord and this, I'd be happy. Like, lower this down to, like, one. Like, limit last tricks. Limit last tricks, and I probably wouldn't mind. This card's powerful, but at least you can't just summon this, tribute it off, summon a satellite cannon, and then do that. Like, no. Because this gives you access to any Raid Raptor XC monster. Like, it's just ridiculous, so probably say limit this, and you should be okay. Same thing with Megazords, you just hit cards around it. You know, of course, Northern Band, so no more that turbo rank 4 shenanigans. Uh, go ahead and hit uh, Emergency Teleport down to 1, that's fine. And uh, if you need to, and you feel like it's an extreme, and, and like I said, it has been prevalent, if you're looking at the whole entire format from November, you know, all the way to now for this uh, for the upcoming list, you want to go ahead and hit Brilliant Fusion, that would hit them too. You know, that would hurt them too, so... Just, just lower the consistency summon. You summon the boss monster, then more power to you, but you shouldn't be able to have it like 80 something percent consistency like the Mega Zord or literally a two card combo or tower turbos, none of that. Like, that's just sacky, so. Uh, one nest. You're probably wondering, like, one nest? Like, a number generator. That's, that's literally what it is. I was just trying to take away the number generator. Uh, really, I, I get one, I get a couple searches off of it, and my opponent wants to pop it? Sure. Because I probably got my work off of it at that point. I probably got all the searches I want. You want to go ahead and waste an MST or a Twin Twister to pop that instead of worrying about other shit that I have? Then 
more power to you, so that's the reason why I don't nest. And you can only activate the effect of nest once per turn, so even if I had multiple nests and I run like two or th I have two or three on the field, I can only activate the effect of one, so. Uh, of course, Regeki winning one for one pitch, summon this, tribute it off, break it up, bam, ultimate falcon. Like, yep. It's already at three, but then it hits a fourth one right here. Of course, uh, Triple Twin Joystar, my favorite spell card in Yu Gi Oh! right now. Love this card. Uh, you know, I got a ton of resources, so. I love to just go ahead and pitch a useless monster that I don't need, pop your back row, and continue to go in, even though if I bust this out, I pretty much win. So, uh, Vanadines win more, warning, win more, bottomless, because I was like, fuck it, I, I feel like running bottomless. I mean, you could probably take out the bottomless, you probably don't need it, but I, I mean, bottomless. Then run, like, another one of this, like, you literally could just take out bottomless, take out this, and run three of these. And then, you have this, this, and this to be all your enabler for your rank four, four strix plays the first turn, so, fuck you. Uh, of course, Triple Solemn Strike, Hidden Strike, and finally, I get to use the power of Icarus Attack. I swear to God, whenever I phase a Winged Beast deck, I always get Icarus Attack. They always have it. Like, it seems like they run the card at, like, fucking, like, 10. Because they always have it, right? whether it be Black Wings, this deck, or whatever. So, I got to have the power of Icarus Attack. Yeah, Triple Tune Twister and Icarus Attack. You know why? Because fuck you. You know, wipe your back row, pop your monsters. You ain't doing shit. I'm locking you down. I got the resources. You're running out of resources. And I'm going to play for new high plays today. Simple as that. All right. I actually got, like I said, two infinities. Uh, shell shape. Simple as that. Utopia, Utopia Lightning. I actually won me a duel. So, yeah. Utopia Lightning is the power. Castell. You could probably run another one of him. But I really haven't had the necessary. Uh, the need to go into multiples, but he does have synergy to deck wing beast, you know, so you can go ahead and make him with this, make a castell spin, you know, tack, set, Icarus attack, Icarus attack on the castell, like, yep, nope, so. He might as well be a red raptor himself, which is how, how much power and synergy he has with the rest of the deck being a wing beast. Uh, one rise falcon, I never made him in the entire months that, uh, uh in all the duels that I did, but he's still really good, and he said, it's really up to you. Uh, you can take him out for, like, maybe, like, another castell, or... Uh, dweller or you know whatever you want really it's just you don't have to have this but you know it's still pretty powerful uh you know when this card attacks all special monster it can attack all special monsters once attack key material gains all that attack like it can literally kill someone by himself so uh if you get it off you get it off but you know you don't have to run them of course three force tricks can them search, 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 search. you can you can bust out three force tricks in one turn like you really can it's just Power. Just search and search and search and search and search. It really sucks that you can't search these, so you just gotta hope that you get them. But how do you get these better? I mean, deck then. You search a whole bunch of monsters, you're just taking out all the monsters that you could draw for these good cards. So, yeah. Uh, one, Revolution Falcon. Definitely recommend you play this for Soul Shape. Like I said, despite the two infinities, this won me a duel that this couldn't. So, this card's really great. Uh, Tagging Sea Material, all monsters opponent controls. Uh, I mean, yeah, Tagging Sea Material this turn. Uh, this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls. Uh, once each was great, and then the stem of this card battle defeats a monster, attack become, and defense becomes zero. So, straight up, like, if I went to infinity, I think, I can't remember what he had. I think he had maybe, like, two infinities or a nova. No, I think it was, uh, no. I think it was infinity and two novas. So I baited him, got him to negate the infinity, and while I could have summoned my infinity to eat his infinity, he would just stack the, you know, a nova on top of it. I mean, infinity on top of his infinity, and then ate my infinity. So, no, that wouldn't work. So, what I do? Also, uh, Revolution Falcon, tack, 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 all your monsters. Kill that Infinity, kill that Nova, kill that other monster, kill that, kill all of them, and it was winning, so definitely recommend you run this. Uh, two Satellite Cannons, he's really great. I don't think I've ever used him, though. I mean, he, he's a freaking Harpy Feather Duster when he's exceeds someone, which is just great, so straight up, you can just go, if you really feel like it, you can summon Last Trick, tribute him off for Revolution Falcon, then skip force, Satellite Cannon, wipe the back row, like, it's that power, and then during the present turn, you can tap the power from this card and target one face on monster your opponent controls with 800 attack for each red doctor monster in your grave. Each one, nigga. And that can be activated during the damage step, and he's a 3,000 beater. Like, think of, all the, think of the possibilities, it's just crazy. The majority of time, you're going to be summoning him with last tricks, ranking him up into OP as Ultimate Falcon. Read that first line for me. Unaffected by other card effects, 3,500. That's worse than fucking towers. That literally is worse than goddamn towers. At least Towers was, you know, can be affected by uh, other card effects. I mean, well, be it, it has to be level 10 or higher, but a Nuchu ain't wiping this bitch. Nuchu can wipe Towers. You can you can kill Towers and Nuchu in Infernoids. You can't do that with this. Nope. And, well, this tax are similar because, you know, Towers lowers your uh, all special, mon special monsters by 500 attack and defense, 
equating to him being 3500. This is already 3500. And this can lower your shit even lower. Uh, Tactics can be thrown from this card until the end of this turn. All your opponent's bosses lose 1000 attack. Also, your opponent can activate card or effect, so lower your attack. Uh, this card is raised monster as extreme control. This gains effect. Once you turn during your opponent, uh, during each player's end phase, all you quick all monsters in your opponent uh, control lose a thousand attack. Uh, and if they control the monsters, flick a thousand to them. So either they lose a thousand attack, or they're getting flicked with this thousand. And they're getting thirty five hundred monster people. So uh, I'm not sure if it was like a dead plug, a dead pro glitch, or a YGO pro glitch, or something. But I know I was playing Power Rangers. I was going against Raid Raptors. I bought out Megazord, who was supposed to be unaffected by all the all other card of, unaffected by all other card card effects except for, uh, of course, uh, my Megazord card, my Super Quantum cards. This effect went off, lowered me by 1,000, and I actually got lowered. I don't know if it's a glitch or, or what, but I got fucked up by this card. And he busted down multiple times. I think he busted down the Red Ultimate Falcon like three times. I kept on killing, he kept on summoning. It was that powerful. So this card is like winning. Like, like I said, lower, hit this down to like one. Like, just lower the consistency of it. Uh, I don't think you can search it for this. Yeah, you can. You can. You can add one Raid Raptor monster from deck to hand. So, you know. Yeah, but you probably just this would be fine. You can search it with this. I know you can't search it with this. And I don't think you could search it with this. Is that an expansion card? I wouldn't have to call it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. So you can search it with this. You can search it with this. But you can't search it with this. Which is the majority of the time you can search it. At least you can't search this. So that's fine. So maybe you like lower this down to like one. And maybe lower this down to like one or two. You know. Just lower the consistency of the sacky shit. And then it'll be fine. And uh, the last but not least we have the seven sins. Uh, actually got FTK'd by this fucker. Like this man literally is playing like... Um, uh, Gimmick puppets busted out three of these first fucking turn and it just killed me like oh yeah GG but uh, this guy he you pretty much just slap him on top of the ultimate falcon so uh, there's really nothing to go to with your last tricks you can always get a four thousand beat rabbit you can summon last tricks tribute off summon ultimate falcon and slap a uh, seven sins on him and then bam it's four thousand beat right there so not a terrible play really isn't so uh, anyway there's a raid raptor deck like I said if I was gonna do changes I'd probably take out this this and and this this and yeah this and this and then put this to three because he's just an enabler you know and you could probably drop this down to two because you have three equus attack and then maybe up this to three because this card is just so good like this card wins duel and it's level four like come on people come on even if i open up a whole bunch of this i could just summon him special summon him or summon him special summon him or summon him normal you know special summon him and then bam go into my rank four shenanigans tricks and go to town so Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call that deck profile, so like I said, if you haven't checked out the other deck that will be added on to Daily Duels and, and place a Raid Raptors on Wednesday, be sure to. Uh, it was fun. It was really fun. It was, it, we were kind of waiting forever for this deck to finally get on Daily Duels. It's been a couple months and it never got on, but finally it got voted in and I enjoyed my time with it. Ultimate Falcon was the shit. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys actually tomorrow with yet another deck profile. So, uh, yeah.